Hello, this is Alan, and I'd like to do a quick session on coinsurance. We're getting a lot of questions on the forum and by email uh, with people having some difficulties in processing the calculation for coinsurance. So I'd like to go over it. Uh, I'll use a couple of questions from the practice exam number two, and then we'll walk through the questions as I'm saying in the handout step by step to eliminate to find out what the information is. So just a couple of things you need to remember and a good tip is when you get to the exam room and you're given those blank sheets of paper, a good thing to do is write down your formula. Well, the only one you need to know about coinsurance is the did over should times the loss. That'll give you the claims. That'll give you the settlement amount. Okay, so if you have printed out your uh, practice exam number two and you're looking at ex question number 25, that's the one we're going to use for the example. If you don't have it, that's okay. Just write it down as I'm saying it. Um, and we're going to have it all written down on the board anyway. So this is just to explain to you how we do the calculation. You'll see the process that I use. So let me read the question. If the owner of a building were $250,000, buys $200,000 of insurance on a policy with a 90% coinsurance clause and a 2% coinsurance waiver, then suffers a loss of $40,000, his recovery under the policy will be approximately, and then it gives you four amounts there. You've got to figure out which one is the right amount. Of course, that's the question, the best answer. So what I do is, first of all, is I'll write down my formula, just so I don't forget it. So did over should times the loss equals the settlement amount, BSL. You know, remember that. So if we grab the question and we look at it and we start wanting to put all the information in place, that could get confusing. So what I do is I, as I read the question, I write down the information as it comes out in the question. This way I don't miss anything. I don't make any assumptions. And it's in the right, or it's in the right order of the question. And I can sort it out here. It's much easier. So if a, the owner of a building worth $250,000, that's the value. So we have the value, $250,000 buys $200,000 of insurance, did, right? The did is what did he buy? Buys $200,000. Okay, on a policy with a 90% coinsurance, that's the should. Should, he should have bought, that's what the insurer says, in this case, the coinsurance clause is 90%, so you should have bought 90%. 90% of what? 90% of the value. So 90% of $250,000, what is it? It's 90% times 250 is $225,000. Okay, so now we have the did, we have the should. Okay, we're going there. And a 2% coinsurance waiver. Okay, so there's a waiver in this one. Waiver, 2%. 2% of the value. So, we have a waiver that's worth $5,000. Okay. And then suffers a loss, that's the last part of the question, of $40,000. So, we have our loss. $40,000. Okay, so now the question is recovery under the policy will be approximately, that's the question. We have all the information that's given to us in the question. And now we can sort it out. We know the value, which we used to find out what the should is, which we used to find out what the waiver is, or the value of the waiver. We know the loss, and we know what he did buy. Did over should times the loss, we have everything we need. Well, let's do a process of elimination first of all. They gave us in the question a waiver. So the question is, is the loss less or equal to the waiver. Because if the loss was only $5,000 or $4,000, there would be no calculation to do. Okay? There would be no calculation at all. So, in this case, 
The waiver does not apply because the loss is above. One more question you need to ask, and this one is pretty evident, is, is this a partial loss? Because the loss, in order for coinsurance to kick in, the loss has to be a partial loss. Coinsurance only applies to partial loss. So this is a partial loss? No, then we go ahead. Yes, it is a partial loss, sorry. Then we go ahead, sorry, and we calculate. Okay, so that's our elimination. So, draw a line. Let's do a calculation. Did $200,000 should 225 okay the insurer says you should have bought 225 you only bought 200 so you're co-insuring what is the value of your co-insurance what is your calculation here well you divide the did over the should and I'll give you 0.89 right if you divide this by this on your calculator it's going to go 0.88888 but 0.89, you round it up for two digits. Okay, so it's 0.89. That's the did over should. That's that number. Okay, then we multiply by the loss. So 0.89 times the loss of $40,000. That gives us the answer, $35,600. That's how much the settlement would be. Because they co-insured, they're responsible for the difference between that amount, the loss, and what they're going to get. That's the percentage. That's what co-insurance is. The insurer says you are co-insuring, you're taking on the responsibility for 11% because you didn't buy quite enough insurance. That's what co-insurance is all about.